All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the uh, Champions Cup Final, Season 31 or 32, one of them. You know, 30 31. something. 31. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Fantastic. With me in the booth is uh, Shawnee TV. Hello. Hello. Shawnee I'm here TV. to correct what? Jimmy about things that are happening in Blood Bowl. What are you, Sean? Is your name Shawnee 18? Uh, no, I'm Sean Man TV. I wouldn't want to be associated with that Sean E18 guy. Very rude. Okay. Yeah, that's true. He's a bit of a cunt. <laughs> a Sean guy. So, we've got the final is Gadir Nick and uh, with Dwarves, which is he must have had a good run to get through with Dwarves, and he must have avoided some claw teams or got really lucky. Um, versus Crucifer, who has only one claw character. But I still yeah, think... I don't uh, know how that happened. Everyone should have claw. Yeah. It's a free win. But, I mean, against Dwarves, it's it's nearly a free win. <laughs> isn't it? It's a free win, apart from when it isn't. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so, bizarrely, Crucifer is 150... Crucifer sacked a, sacked a Hobgoblin... To go down to 14, but it didn't deny the wizard for Gadernik. It denied him nothing. It just literally denied him nothing. It, it, it got, went down from 190 and just went to 150, so uh, it just literally denied nothing. I don't know why Christopher sacked a hobgoblin. And then Gadernik eschewed the wizard and went for a bribe and a babe, which is all well and good if you get lucky with your, with your fouling, but if you don't, it's a bit crap, isn't it? Mm. Well, he, he, I think he was going to be fouling anyway. Yeah. Which is why he took, I think, uh, after the quarter final, he took a dirty player on the runner. Yeah. I do like the dirty player runner, to be fair. Yeah, you get all six squares of movement plus two GFIs <laughs> to execute the top level fouls. Yes. Yeah, exactly, Hippie. I think it's really, I think it's really greedy. I think it's a really greedy. Uh... To take bribes in general, I, th I think they're good if the game goes well, but not if it goes badly. So I don't like them because I only want to uh, something to help me if it goes badly. Not. Mm. I guess what I, I, Iron Khan is saying is if uh, Nick had an extra long bid, or he could have had an extra long bid and a bribe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Still having the hundred and fifty k, and it all. Oh, it's a good start. Oh wow! Maybe that maybe that was why Christopher sacked that to tempt to tempt Gadenik into buying a, a long beard, so that then he could sack another one, and then <laughs> Gadenik would have to sack that and not get the wizard. <laughs> I don't think there's any of that shenanigans. Next very good at like I'm doing this. Do you do anything? Kind of chat to stop all the oh I'm sacking the long beard. No, I'm not sacking the long beard. <laughs> You'll find out when you open the game. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> bribe, bribe's brilliant, isn't it? Bribe, bribe was a great call because <laughs> he rolled good. <laughs> now he'd have foul, he'd have made that foul anyway. So at the moment, bribe having zero effect. He would have definitely. He probably made that sees it as his way to winning. Um, you know, Chris has got a lot of players, but um, he's got eight key players and he can't replace them. Yes. Um, if it's going, you know, he probably thinks it's going to overtime, whether he has a wizard or not. Maybe. I think that's what I'd be thinking is the, the dwarves. I might well have taken a wizard because it's just an automatic 150k get a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would have taken the wizard. I, like, I know it's not it's not as good as it is for elves when you know you can surgically, uh, you know, lightning bolt and get the ball and everything. But just it's just good for collapsing drives, isn't it, and stuff. In a bash mirror. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and like, I know it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got to play around a wizard all the all the time. Whereas the, the, you know, like the entire game, they've got to think, oh, he's got a wizard, haven't they? Whereas if you don't have a wizard, they don't have to think that. I don't like not taking the wizard. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. 
Who can say whether it's right or wrong? <laughs> Qualified to judge that. Exactly. <laughs> Which said, yeah, we don't know that it's good yet. We'll find out if he wins. And if he wins, then it's good. Yeah. That's how Blood Bowl analysis works. Yeah. <laughs> your calcium you can just wait until someone does a foul and then go oh I wouldn't have done that foul <laughs> he got sent off there <laughs> that was the best thing ever when calcium said he wouldn't have fouled <laughs> yeah what a load of shit <laughs> oh I wouldn't have fouled I've seen you do like loads of bullshit fouls <laughs> I do loads of bullshit fouls but if I saw the other people do them I'd be like what the fuck is that <laughs> 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 oh, do you know what I would have liked to have seen? I'd like to have seen a, a guy in, and then, uh, and then he could have. No, he couldn't have chained anybody because he's got stand for. Do so if he can push this guy out into fouling territory. I did like the basing up from Christopher though, because Nick can't really uh, full commit. Yeah. Yeah, by putting three on one. I always like putting three on one if you're gonna if you're gonna do that. It's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> Crucifer all wet in his panties. <laughs> oh my god. I'm all wet in my panty. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> I wouldn't have been sent off. Yeah, getting sent off as a bit. He's set up a big foul here. Presumably, he'll uh, run back a little bit to foul to protect him a little bit. Kind of exposing his uh, strength four boy or to make his foul. Nah, I guess not. He could screen him off. Run the ball back. He's got to uh, get the ball upfield at some point, hasn't he? He can't dick around fouling shit his whole half. No. <laughs> you should have enough time, though. It's only time to... It's just a bit tricky, though. I think with dwarves, I think you've got to take the space when you when you get the chance, you know, because uh, they're pretty yeah, slow. Yeah, you do have to move up like earlier than you'd think. Yeah, like... counting squares on turn four to see how far you can go downfield. Yeah, I think I think if if it gets to that point, then you you probably <coughs> shit creek. To be honest. Especially versus Christopher. See, he's going backwards on turn. I don't like... Like, it's what I would do to get this foul in. Sure. But if I was doing the playing this way... The, but he is he is exposing the dirty player as well now because he didn't... What I would have done... <laughs> would have... Uh, to have just screened that guy and then fouled from where the Pommer is now to keep the runner safe because I think the runner might get targeted now. Don't know if I would have done that foul. Oh, no, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bribe having no effect he would have made these fouls without the bribe and he has made two cards he's certainly rolling well glorious <laughs> I mean this drive is made a lot easier by the fact there's two chops off the field now yes so the man's up and uh, the nine nick isn't so good what's he going to no he's not going to pile on 100k for a mental assurance. Yeah. But now he, I think I think Christopher will send a send a bull down to threaten now, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I think you, you can get far enough forward with the runner. Um to to cover the back. Although you wouldn't really want to do that. You'll have to if he pushes forward. Yeah, Chris have uh, upload turn one foul uh, injury on a chop, and then turn two foul injury. Yeah, brutal. Of course, he doesn't really care about perms or anything, does he? With it being a one-off, so it's not it's not like squeaky bum time like it would be in Rebel or whatever. <laughs> no, or like um, the quarterfinal or the semi-final or something. Yes, yeah, yeah. He'd be hating this if it was the semi-final, but. Not that bad in the final, really. 
like he still w- won't be happy about taking two cars in two turns <coughs> but at least the apple being gone on turn one is isn't that bad in the final Squeaky bum time. Oriel Ensis. He, uh, he probably got. He's probably got a hot date. Uh, good day, Nick. Right now, probably got a hot day, and <laughs> so is Christopher. They don't even care about the game. Uh, both watching Community in the background. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a double skull. He's Oof. had bad dice so far, Chris, hasn't he? He's had the comedy mega dicing. <laughs> yes. Let's see if both coaches can get diced. Yeah. He hasn't even got the play blood ball yet. <laughs> joke of the game. Who would even waste their time playing this? <laughs> we didn't stack the GFIs. Oh, well, only one more turn and you can concede. And he's not going to get an assist for this punch. Is he going to do the 1D punch? It's against. He's committing you both really balls forward. Much. Interesting, screening off the runner from his teammates. Mm -hmm. It's not that you can just get rid of this hobgoblin. Yeah, we know, but he's still he's still <laughs> he's still done it, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, yeah, it's not. Uh... I mean, maybe you make a runner GFI as well. Let's hit this hobgoblin. You're not forcing an awful. Long. No, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's kind of interesting to me that he has committed both bulls. I think, I think it's always good to like have, you know, not have your bulls together. Okay, kind of. <laughs> don't let your bulls <laughs> bang together. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it can be painful when you squeeze your bulls together. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to leave plenty as as much space as you can between your bulls. That's what I think. Keep them symmetrical. Don't have you know them both on one side or the other. <laughs> if you're gonna move one one forward, make sure the other's back so they're balanced, isn't it? Yeah, you want one in a higher position than the other. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, exactly. You don't getting your balls twisted is the worst. So yeah, he's a little bit positionally stunted, get it, because he's dwarves by these fouls. <laughs> but he's he's had the payoff, hasn't he? Massive payoff of two cards. Very happy. Yeah. With that. And I think these dwarves are kind of stuck in here. That like it's hard to see them moving much for the rest of the drive. Yep. Hello, Cutney. <laughs> She's not fetched with the home strength for a long bit. No, She's kind of what I expected. That's very surprising, isn't it? I mean, he, like, not not that he'd be pomming, but just like the fact he wouldn't need an assist is quite good. I was just going to GFI in. He's just going to GFI and not rely on a knockdown. Oh, I see. Yes, around this side. Yeah. Because yeah. you'd have had to knock down the 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 hobgoblin, wouldn't you? There. Push would That's be true. good. I wonder where he wants to. Well, he could have, you know, a push would have been fine if he did it from this angle, actually. It looks like you're blitzing here anyway. Yeah. But if he'd hit from that angle, a push would have been fine anyway. I think I'd push him onto the long bit there. So he's got a GFI. Ooh! Doesn't double one. Lucky bastard. That's why he's in the final. <laughs> <laughs> He just must be luckier than everyone else. It's the only reason he's here. Yeah. <laughs> the two luckiest players seeing who can be the luckiest. Yeah. That's that's blood ball in a nutshell, yeah. <laughs> oh, that wasn't so lucky. That should have, he should have he should have gone to the space cadet school of rolling one dices. <laughs> And then he might have, might have won this final. I don't hate just leaving him there because he got to stand firm. If you move someone in, that's two prior actions being used there, and and then like if he doesn't armor break, you can stand up again. Yeah, and he probably uses another 
one or two player actions on it. Yeah, I wouldn't have hit not activating him either, yeah. Because now, like, uh, Crucifer's the one with whose chips are down, isn't he? Like, Crucifer's definitely the desperate one this drive. Already he's desperate, I think, this drive. Down two players. He's just going to get grind down for the rest of the half. Mm. And he's going to concede on turn eight. Like, that. that's the way it's going to go, isn't it? So Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so like while it's while it's super early, like it's only turn three, I do think it is a pretty desperate situation for Christopher. So I think I don't hate like Christopher going kind of balls to the wall at this point. And yeah, leaving that guy just stood up there, it as you say, it does take up two actions to punch him or or one if he <laughs> if he's happy with rolling a skull. Um, and yeah, it might have might have been a bit too aggressive. Yeah, so I think at this point Nick has probably got at least overtime out of this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, like that could have Crucio said, I can, I can do a big foul on this guy. You know, he's got a bench. Yeah. Um, the only players he really gives a shit about losing are his positionals. Yeah. That's a very good point. <laughs> oh, Jaws, I definitely turn up my mic and button build aloud, yeah. Oh, he's made a cheeky cards with his claw. The claw. Made the cards. Instant apple. From Gdanik. Get on. Oh, he only has oh. a push. He greeds it. Oh. <laughs> the invincible runner. Greed's the hit on the dirty player, so maybe that greed hit happened because of the uh, bribe. You know, maybe that influenced. Yeah, because I mean, the fouls are going to keep coming, and they won't stop coming in the second half. Yeah. Um, hit the ground running. Whatever the other lyrics are. <laughs> uh, but I think, he, what what's he gonna do? Gudenik just gonna try and push forward here, isn't he? You can punch him, punch him, punch him, punch him. Yeah, guard in here. That's that facilitates these two blocks and a great hit on the runner here. I'm surprised. I'm actually genuinely surprised that Christopher put his ball carrier on defense. He could have just had a rookie hob. Pretty surprised he put on his uh, ball carrying hob on defense. I would have definitely made sure I had him for the second half. <laughs> Now that guy is stunned, clearing this runner this turn isn't such a big issue because if you can get him up there next turn to foul the claw, that's kind of okay. Yeah. Big non knock down him. there, actually. If it knocked him down, he can blitz the hobble and then fa then make an end of turn dodge to try and foul, couldn't he? But he's, he's in a bit of a pickle now, isn't he? He really wanted to get that guy knocked down. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I think he'll three dice him with a pomery. Could do, but then does he? Can he protect the ball if he three dices? Yeah, I think the. I think you can't really afford to three dice. I think he did it against Dio in the quarterfinal. He was kind of making three dice against people, but um, it just it's just too much commitment yeah, for dwarves. Uh, I think I agree. I don't think it's really feasible to do it here. I mean, maybe. Maybe because he could he could assist this block here. Oh, he's blitzing instead. Stand firm. Stand firm doing things, isn't it? Well, no, yeah, not this, it's down. what made Christopher all wet in his panty. <laughs> and we can see why now. <laughs> not doing anything that time, though. This is a, this is a, you know it could be a hit on the ball here. He's gonna have a burst cage. Presumably. It's hard to uh, get around though because you'd have to bring in someone for the assist on the stand firm. Uh, as well as have someone as this bull comes around. Stan 
Lance Furman in some one day because he'd have guard on the other corner. But he's got this. Uh, he's got this dude. It's all a bit dodgy, you know. Okay, so he's sure that up. Yeah. So it's this. This is the. Uh, if, if he if he powers him and powers him, then he can hit the ball. Can't he? Oh, he's made the dodge. <laughs> well, he can't do that if he it. makes the dodge. <laughs> but yeah, if he if he hits the first guy, that would have to be a pow, and it, um, and then he hits the stand firmer, um, and he hits stand firm, and then actually, then it's still just it's it's a dodge. You can't actually get in. Yeah, but I mean, he's got pre tackle, right? So it'd have been a pretty easy dodge in to hit him on two dice with tackle yeah it'd be a, a, a three plus yeah three plus is pretty yeah. like when you when you've lost two players on turn two getting a three plus to 2d the ball with tackle is pretty good i think pretty good but he would have needed two knockdowns sure <coughs> but he thanks to that four plus dodge see gadernick showing why he's in the final with that four plus dodge brilliant dice rolling skills <laughs> but I think it was the correct move as well. Yes, exactly. I'm only I'm only joking with the dice rolling thing. <laughs> only joking apart from when I'm right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm only I'm only half joking. <laughs> like there's obviously, you know, if if uh if Christopher plays Gadernik in this final a hundred times probably the guy who's luckiest wins the most rather than you know like you know the, each individual match is probably is more likely to be decided by luck than skill i would say if you if you see what i mean even though i wouldn't say that i would say that maybe not with these teams or whatever but you know like if, if people if you assume two people who are really close in ability you know, so they're going to go quite close, like, say, 55. Well, no, it's not even that close, is it? 55-45. If they were to go 52-48, 53-47, each individual game is more likely to be decided by the dice. Don't mention 52-48. Why not? It's, it's the will of the people. I don't know what that means. Don't worry. <laughs> it's a meme. Oh, okay. Um... No, but I mean, like, people still make, you know, game-losing mistakes, even if they're um, similar coaching ability. They do, yes. Yes, they do. That's true. That's true, that does happen. Oh, that was Brexit, wasn't do, it? Do you remember Brexit, Jimmy? Yeah, I remember Brexit. I've heard of it in passing. Few. I'm glad that was it. And it was, I was when I was thinking of numbers, I was thinking of other numbers, and there's other numbers that I could have said that would have been worse. <laughs> what? I'm not going to say them. <laughs> but there's there's bad. There was bad numbers that I could have used. So I'm glad I didn't use any bad numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just a real life name, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Shawnee with the seven year old names. Whatever it is. <laughs> Show my country back, Jeff. However long ago Brexit happened, gosh. Who even cares about Brexit anymore? Can't even remember Independence Day. What are you like? Not a patriot. <laughs> Fuming. <laughs> Probably never again, I'm too new for you. Probably never again. He's going to get the hit, the runner. I say runner, Hobgoblin. I wouldn't mind hitting him. But he's got this guard in a good spot, so he's got to hit the guard first. And then... Oh no, he's going to hit with him. Or I could have hit with him anyway. I don't like, I don't like this from Gadernik. He's not really moving forward, is he? Is he going to potato at the last second? I don't know what the uh, the plan is. It's hard to potato uh, against those bulls. 
It is, isn't it? Yes. Bulls are, a, are an anti-potato device. <laughs> he probably wants to free this uh, runner. And then he could foul the pommer. He could blitz the uh, he could blitz the hobgoblin right to chain away the bull and get two more assists as well. Nice. That yeah, sounds good. It's also like forward progress. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot actually. He's hit with the runner here. I mean, you don't really want a strength four guy. Uh, you want him at the front, really. Yeah. I don't hate that either. I like my idea a lot more. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> because that would have got a massive foul in on on one of his best players. And the ball would have been pretty protected as well. Now he's he's got a chance of getting powered here, and then he, he he's he's not liking it, is he? It's only it's only giving up a one day against this ball. He doesn't have to tackle. Well, unless he removes unless he removes this guy. Okay, he's made the GFIs. <coughs> Good if he removed him, he has to. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, if he removes him, it's a two D. If he doesn't remove him, it's a one. Sure. Stand firm was it was it was in the right place, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty good skill. It can be. Wow, better skill is r not rolling double skulls. To tell you the truth, I don't have to try that skill. It's a pretty good skill to have. I think it was kind of okay without the GFIs. I thought it. I mean, he had he's got option. three left, right? So it didn't read the G, the reroll burn didn't really matter to him. Yeah, he still got. Still got three rerolls. One three for points. every turn. Yeah, so the reroll burn wasn't a cost. What is a cost is leaving these guys behind the ball, isn't it? Like it's turn. He's had five turns and he's only got two players in front of the ball. And one level with the ball, which is, who's now being knocked down. So he's only got two guys in front of the ball. It's not. It's not. It's not great, is it? No, it's a, it's a bit of a push. Um, luckily, Kriska doesn't have much in the way. You know, there's quite a few players behind the ball. But the issue is, he has to. He can't do some kind of potato because some ball will triple GFI and grab him by the balls. Yep. Fuck him in the ass and make him humble. <laughs> I've not heard of that saying before. You've not heard of that saying before? No. Oh, you're in you're in for a treat then. Uh, after the match you should uh, you should Google Sheiky. Um, the Iron Sheik. I don't know if he's dead now actually. Um, but he was funny for a while, just going on about like after he'd retired he's just going about like I put him in the camel clutch, break his back, <laughs> I fuck his ass. Oh, what? <laughs> and I make him a wrestler or something? He was a wrestler, yeah. He was a crazy, oh. coked up to the eyeballs wrestler. <laughs> Brilliant. Is he still? He's still alive. That's good. <laughs> he's a crazy bastard. <laughs> the ball carrier is not running the cage. I called this on turn two, didn't I? Just, uh, just, just quietly. Sorry, 
just quietly I'll call this one turn two. <laughs> quietly, really quietly. Just really quietly. I fucking said this on turn two, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry. <laughs> yeah, quiet. quiet, yeah. <laughs> is the Sheikah is wrestler? <laughs> yeah, this was this was always the problem, you know. Like he moved the ball carrier back, and he had to then move him up and protect him and everything. You know, it's hard to protect against the bulls. That's why I would have wanted him upfield protected as soon as possible. And then it's because he delayed with these two fouls, which did get him two removals, it it meant that he was always going to be struggling to uh, push forward as a team, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's lots of players getting stuck everywhere. Yep, yeah, that was always had a chance of happening, didn't it? Both downs, everyone's got block. Though, well, not everyone, all of the chops have block. Um, there's a lot of stand firm, so there was a chance of getting stuck on people as well, yeah. He's in trouble now, isn't he? This runner comes around to blitz the guard bull, maybe. Let's see how he uses the blitz, really. Yeah, he's got a kind of column as well, hasn't he? They could do a cheeky 1D on the other bull. <sighs> yeah, Christopher was favourite before the game started, I thought. He hasn't had very good dice, he's had two guys cast. But he has managed to stick him in trouble a bit, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh boy. From one day to get this chorf onto one of these long days back here. Onto Galank. Ganalana. Glanak. <laughs> I can yeah. use words. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but the stand That's firms it. are in front, so at least he's got that going for him. That that cuts out a lot of shit that could have happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think now Gadenik's looking for a, to get out of this half at nil nil, isn't he? <laughs> well, I think as long as if this Bill Centaur stays where he is and he can potentially use the you know knock him down. Then he could know the potato is pretty strong. Yeah, but I think Christopher should not let that happen. <laughs> no, he should probably just uh, get him into the backfield. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, now the only way Gadenic scoring is with a potato, pretty much, isn't it? So Christopher should recognise that. I'm sure he will. And we'll try to. Uh, Extricate his balls from this uh, <laughs> this dodgy position. I think not stand firming there might have been an idea, you know, just to just to double up that ball. To, I think he, he can always just dodge away, can't? Yeah. I love me a good potato. <laughs> Nothing like a good potato. I like a good potato as well, to be honest. What's your favourite kind? I like roast. I like. Uh, turn seven, double GFI. Oh, no, no, I like roast <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shawnee Cadet. I've got the potato in more, but it never gets used on my channel because I never fucking potato. Maybe I should, maybe I should potato more. Hope my opponent don't roll an instant pal. We should have like a potato a wrestler and then everyone can spam it as he enters the ring. That's a good idea. You could change lemon is good to a kind of brown colour and then you saw it. <laughs> Potato is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good idea, actually. Let's have a potato wrestler. 
It's not a bad idea. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's his third double score. <laughs> Fucking Gadernik has used one reroll on a vanity GFI. <laughs> Christopher's used all three rerolls on three fucking double scores. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Moribam. Yeah, it does get used when I want to pit it holes. Very rarely. Yeah, Rockstar Spud. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Powell. Jim Powell gets uh, gets gets regular use, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Regular use from the gym pal. So yeah, he did exactly what we said. He blitzed with his bull to free up the other one. But you see, had had Sean had Sean, he had Gadenik not stood firm there, then he might have had to dodge away with the bull, and then as we just saw him roll a double skull, he might have double won that dodge, and then you know, Gadenik would have been happy. Yeah. Could have happened. And now it's just going to be like he runs in scoring range and hopes for the best. Yep. He's going for the classic potato. The classic potato play. It's only one option. Despite making two removals in the first two turns. To be fair, he didn't make any more. Crucifer no. did a good job of protecting his hobs, didn't he, actually? It's hard where he's got his, you know, he's still got loads of guard and stand firm, and then he's got, he can run in some strength four guard, break tackle any way he wants. Yeah. I still think he played well, though, Crucifer, you know, I think. Yeah, I, I think he's played it pretty perfectly. Yeah, I'd say Crucifer's played it better than Gadenic. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Tardy kind of a power, didn't he? Yeah, he's thinking about rerolling this. He should have thought about it before he made the action. It's one of those horrible situations where you've got to think, you've only got 15 seconds to, to make a game-deciding decision and really you should have thought about the 1 in 9 chance for a minute before you did it, but you can't because of the stupid fucking system in Blood Bowl 2 that I absolutely fucking despise. Yeah, it's terrible. On fumble, people will be like, "Oh, should I stand firm for about five minutes?" I think, the, I think, in the other person's turn, the time is fine. But when it's your turn, you should be able to make the block dice yeah. roll and then think for two minutes whether you should re-roll it or not. Absolutely, it's ludicrous. Pants wearing scum is the name of his uh, bull. That's a pretty great name, isn't it? <laughs> Pants wearing scum. I, I don't even want to know what's behind that. No, I like it though. What the war against pants? I'm very much pro pants. <laughs> Gadenik with his uh, default names. Not as good as pants wearing scum. <laughs> oh, did you, I did. I was like, I had a takeaway arriving, and I came back, and you were setting up still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's all wet in his panties. He, so he's managed to get a uh, he's managed to get a side screen here, hasn't he? So not a complete potato. <laughs> Indeed, to me. <laughs> you probably want to dodge with this long beard. No, that's nice. For old Nick. Try and mark up this claw or. Definitely wants to make a rando removal, doesn't he? That's always a good strike. Yeah, always recommend. Yeah. Don't know that one day, I think you just want to dodge. The, the, 
the block doesn't really do anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, even if you powers and kills that guy, it's not really anything, is it? Because you have the chance to like stop an extra player coming to press you on the sideline. So what is it? Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, potential scoring threat. To be fair, mind is, Crucifer has got no rerolls, so I don't think the scoring threat is that high on Crucifer's. Uh, I think Crucifer's given up on the counter score now. To be to be fair. Yeah, you can't really commit anything to it. If you go in nil nil, that's good, and you don't want to be one nil down. Yeah, I think he's just gonna have to play it safe, isn't he? Just like. Blitz and cover and stuff. You can make a pretty decent screen um, because he's got the, you know, the claw player, uh, both bulls and the ball carrier. Like that could be like two columns. And also, uh, the uh, the runner is constrained by his movement eight, isn't he? Well, not movement eight, eight squares yeah. of movement available. And being on the sideline, he can only go directly forward or diagonally, so he can get in the way quite well. Yeah, pay it to see more GFIs from, uh, from Gdanik. Love me a good GFI. Shoney now. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the dodge binds you a lot because you, you dodge here, you block this guard might blow chorf and you follow, and you've got at least the claw man tied up. Potentially the the blob shop goblin has to dodge as well. Yeah, I think you had to dodge that for sure, yeah. But I guess that was the that was the thinking was yeah the scoring threat. I mean, if he does if he does make that dodge, then that's the first move Christopher makes is moving that guy down as a scoring threat, isn't it? To be fair, so yeah, there was a bit of a trade off there, of course. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't move him back. Yeah, he's not really in the way as much. If he was standing next to the goal or something. No, yeah, I much preferred him being further back. Because mm. if you hit this goal, push him to the side, then you can dodge through where he was. Okay, so that, that stops it. Well, no. Is a red dice to do that, but I think that might be. It's worse now because you're dodging into two tackle zones. Hmm. He could red. He could. He could red die with him. In fact, he might not even need to. Yeah. In fact, he can. He can one die, maybe even better against the the guard bull, and then he's got the one d against the the tackle uh, bull. Yeah. He can two beat both of them. Oh. You can two D everything here. This is uh look, this is looking pretty bad for Christopher, I think. He wake a blitz with the ball carrier or something. No. I mean he could, but he doesn't he doesn't have to, does he? No. You can blitz with this uh you can just get in two guys, 2D the uh, 2D one bull, then 2D the other bull, and then 4 plus 2 plus to score. 4, 2, 2, 2, 2. Ça clairement 
Seem to be quite a cheer fight too deep here, and then you push him to a. Yeah, cheer fight. Um, yeah, I guess you you don't go in the guard spot because then you can push him uh, to the side instead of to the side and back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, gets the power there. I mean, only needed a push, to be fair. And then it goes for the other runner. Five plus three plus. Two plus two plus. Four plus two plus, isn't it? He's edge. Oh, he's edge four, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Got the cards. Oh, my God. Rip Christmas. Well, this is... If he makes this... Christopher's in real trouble. Yeah. I mean, you'd be better, in trouble thing down those two players. Yeah, that claw anyway. could have been up there, though. Like, I, I really didn't understand the, the position of his claw, might he? Yeah, he's not really stopping anything being here. If he was back, covering the space. Yeah. Because that, that, that's the thing. If you make two columns here, then, you know... <laughs> He's he's only got one option. Yeah. Yeah. yeah really. Three three removals for that runner this half. <laughs> yeah, he's quite the player, isn't he? Makes it. Oh, oh, oh. Two Shawnees. Easy. Glorious. Never in doubt. <laughs> well, I think it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, could, <laughs> I, I can't believe you ever doubted him, Jim. Yeah, it's funny because I feel like I feel like uh, Crucifer played better for seven turns, and then he kind of shit the bed there, didn't he, a little bit? Well, I mean, that's that's what I was saying about. Um, you know, you have two good coaches, you know, one of them's playing better than the other potentially. You misposition your chorf and then it's just a, you know, the end of the turn eight random dice rolls it are easier for your opponent and then that makes you lose, for example. Yeah. But he has also taken three cars. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean like it, yeah, there's a way of looking at it like oh he, he conceded there because Gedeonic rolled Kaz and because he rolled dice at the end to score. Mm -hmm. But also, you could look at it as he should have done better in stopping it. Mm. But he did do better for seven turns, and if he hadn't been so unlucky for the previous seven turns, maybe he would have already turned over Gedeonic and scored himself. Yeah, I mean, it's fully possible. So it's just a boring dicing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get to play Blood Bowl. Good job he's got a hot date on Tinder. <laughs>
Yeah, doesn't make that three dice. Shame on him. Shame on him. For not making that three dice. Shame. Shame. <laughs> doesn't put in the guy here so he doesn't get the extra block. Shame. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> not blitzing with mighty blow. Shame. <laughs> Maybe Christopher's in a bit tilted. I guess he doesn't give a shit about hitting that guy as much. Because it's like he's going on the bench anyway. But it's overtime format, so he should. Yeah, he should. Every little helps. Play optimally. I don't play at all. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe he's a little bit tilted. He probably knows yeah. he's played well for the whole half and then spunked it a bit on turn eight. <laughs> With turn seven, probably kicking himself a little bit for that. He has definitely had the worst dice, hasn't he? Three Taz. Three sets of three schools. Yeah. Definitely. But you know, the dice were what they were and he still could have stopped the score. Yeah, he could have done yeah. He could have done better on turn it. Yeah, it was a that was a bad foul. He, stupid bad player from him there. He should have played as well as uh Gdanik and got an instant Kaz from the foul. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy player from Christopher. What did you make of the foul run up? I mean, I thought it was strong, but considering the result, maybe like a little swirl, a little, you know, oh, I'm just going to protect this area over here and then run back. <laughs> yeah, they're my favourite run ups, to be honest. Yeah. When you, when you can like position him and it looks like a good screen, and then you come back in for the foul. Yeah, exactly. GFI for no reason. <laughs> I don't know about but the GFI. I I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> The GFI for no reason is, it, it, it it's like, oh, it's brilliant. It, <laughs> it's just, it's just to like, I can GFI here and tilt you. And then like, re-roll it as well, you know. <laughs> oh dear, should have zigged when he zagged. Why the offset LOS? It's a good question, Jaws. I've got no idea. <laughs> Maybe hey, Michael's her boy do a hit on a perfect defence. It looks like that would be the case. Because Chris was setting up for the blitz. Mm. Never not offset. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the only reason to not offset is when you've got a kind of a, a better or weaker player and he doesn't. So there's no reason not to offset, is there? Basically. Basically. Like if this guy was... Uh, like if the sixth player was like a witch elf or something, <laughs> and then you're just gonna get a blitz, so you can't, you can't offset there. Mm. Oh, touchback! Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? You can give it to a bull, go for a quick score, and go for the win. No, he's not gonna. <laughs> yeah, being down the bull, God, that hurts. It, uh, I would like to note that. Uh, when I was Chorfs against Gdanik, he he killed my bull and uh, MNG'd my claw hammer. And so he just is lucky. Yeah. Let the record show. <laughs> Let the record show. Oh. Dirty thick skull bastard. It's a Kaz there, it doesn't get a 3D, he could have maybe he's got a 3D later if he'd uh, set that up. Nice up. Yeah, he does have a, uh, he does have a super fast team now. Just <laughs> <laughs> not in a good way. <laughs> That was <laughs> next game will sting for the super finals, absolutely. Yeah, so obviously now he did a great job of protecting his his hubs in the first half, but he can't really protect them on offense, can he? So I think you'll see Pom blitzes on hobos from uh Gdanik and he'll whittle down his numbers on offense here. 
Might see a one on one. Big foul here as well. Yeah. I think he's going to go for it. Yeah, I think he's kind of got to now. There's already one man up for the drive. If he gets sent off, it's not great. Not great. If you get sent off on fouls, kids, it's not good. Yeah. Uh, me tips. <laughs> I mean, I don't know whether I'd make this foul. Let, let, let me see what happens on the dice and then I'll tell you what I'm going to make. The calcium school of commentating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. The best blood bowl related advice you will ever receive is do it sometimes <laughs> in response to anything. Doesn't get an extra run up here. That's a big mistake. Could have got two yeah, only a three there. square run up. Yeah. That's done, yeah. I like, I like making the foul there. That was a good decision. <laughs> I mean, it was an okay decision. Um, it would have been a better decision if he uh, injured him. <laughs> He'd have cast him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with some assists, I don't know. Thick skull is is, is a big uh, is a big uh, thing to not foul, isn't it? Four assists was it? For the plus five. Or was it only three assists? Four assists. Four then assists. Moved him. It was four then moved him, didn't he? So yeah, he only needed five and two dice to break AP. But I guess at this point, down a bull and down. A chore, you've kind of got to get lucky. So, I think it was probably. I think, you know, you know, 11 versus 10, you're okay for the drive, you should be for getting a score. Yeah, but the problem is he's 10 versus 10. I would have that was great blitz there. Yeah, surprised he didn't go for it with the uh, with a pommer, though, honestly. Um, it's kind of, I think, unless you mark up this chore, if it's, it's a GFI. I would have marked it that shot off. I would have thought it was worth it to to get the pawn. Personally. I don't know. I think it was worth it not to, because you just injure him. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> With the way the dice went. Um, it was obviously the correct decision to give them the dice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> A lot of space up here, isn't there? I think Christopher will take it, and he's already moving that way. Hmm. It's not fantastic space though, because these these dwarfs stand up. Yeah, it's not fantastic, but it's it's better than it's better than moving back to uh, about three squares from your end zone on turn two, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you'd prefer these dwarfs stuck on the, the opposite side of the pitch to where you're going. Yeah, sure. Guess you can always move back. Yeah, he doesn't have to. Uh, he doesn't have to fully commit down the side, but he might as well take it when it's offered. I thought he doesn't have to full fully go crazy down the side. Just swing around there and see see how Skadenik responds. Yeah, that was good. Let's see if this is a good foul. Yeah. Terrible run up once again. Yeah, there's really no flair to these fouls. You yeah. might see some. A little jiggle. Yeah. A little. You know, this is the dance of the elders of the foul. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just unimaginative, lazy play. <laughs> that was just some a... creativity. Yeah, he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, poof, got him. <laughs> if you can like circle around a downed player and then foul a different player, that's like the, with a GFI for no reason. <laughs> that would be ultimate, like, I think was it Johnny Five who did one where he just like, 
used the full movement to run around the player and then foul it and killed it. Oh, brilliant. There was like a clip of it somewhere. It was amazing. <laughs> Didn't even play it, Jaws. <laughs> Yeah, the ref didn't even know it was a foul because like that player's just moved two squares. <laughs> it wasn't even a. There was no full movement. He didn't run in a circle. It can't have been a foul. <laughs> the best foul bait I've seen though was I was playing against Stride on Fumble, and uh, he just knocked down my dancer and the ball carrier. I was like, okay, he's going to score, and he moved the ball carrier with a foul action. Ran, stood next to the dancer, paused, and then scored. <laughs> I was like, that is genius. Because <laughs> you don't have that. You can't declare a foul action unless you click on them on level two. But on fumble, you can. It's great. Yeah. Dummy. <laughs> Also, I, I, can you declare a foul on Fumble if there's no down players? You, do, you just click on like a menu from the. Yeah. Because I don't think anyone needs to be on the floor. Yeah, because I think I think somebody on a Fumble declared a foul action uh, with the ball carrier, dodged away from a diving tackle, diving tackle, diving tackle, failed, and then he fouled him. <laughs> I think that happened. That is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, five plus four plus to get that long bit out. Yeah. See, but now, now you can just swing around, right? He didn't have to, like, go crazy on the commit, did he? Which he didn't. His only issue is if he gets a troll tied up down here, he can't switch so easily. Which you, I mean, you might do. It's a bit early for that anyway. I wouldn't be going in for it if I was Nick. No. Sin used to do that all the time. Fair enough. It did happen then, I wasn't just making it up. <laughs> It's also like a great deterrent from someone using diving tackle. If you're like, okay, you can diving tackle, but I'm going to declare a foul action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, TD fouls are my favourite thing in Blood Bowl 2, probably. Oh, he's failed the foul. But I mean, he's oh, got man. guard there, so the uphill isn't so scary, is it? Best thing about the TD foul is, as long as you could reach someone, you could foul them. So if you had a wolf one square from the end zone, and there was a gutter runner near the two GFIs away on the halfway <laughs> line, you could score, and then double GFI foul. It wouldn't roll the GFIs, but you'd foul them. Yeah, from really and he'd be in the end zone and do the foul animation and then like someone would be stunned <laughs> eight squares away <laughs> yeah it was brilliant wasn't it so good it should be the real rules it should honestly it, it's the only time that like fouling is definitely right isn't it it's brilliant like it actually it actually like rewards good play because <laughs> it's just it's one of the best mechanics that's ever been in Blood Bowl. I, I, I mean I would purposefully set up, you know, a situation where I could do it. And main you know, it was also like because you'd you'd be thinking like, okay, can I hit this guy down? You know, and then is it can we reach him <laughs> after we've scored? Yeah. Yeah. And so much complexity of the game. Yeah, it was actually really good. It was a genuinely a really good mechanic. I'm not even I'm not even memeing. I just think it was a really good mechanic. <laughs> to be honest. Bring back T D files. Yep. Hello just Joe. There would be some people being like, I never score. And so I don't get to TD foul. 
découdre mano à mano. Bah, bah, pas pour ça. Il faut s'approcher jusqu'à sentir la. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like definitely, uh, definitely biased to people who are good at the game, which I think is good because. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's so much of it is just random luck, isn't there? So this that took some of that out. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Dr. Mumble score, rewarding good play. Nick always exists really well. Always dices everyone. <laughs> This would be the tenth dicing in a row in Chalice, delivered by Nick. <laughs> Next day delivery. <laughs> Arrives at your doorstep. Signed for this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, dear. Well. Interesting, interesting, uh... Interesting here. He's got the chance to break, break over this half, hasn't he? Pretty much. But he has got the stand firmers. But if he can power these stand firmers, he could break over here. Yeah, I think Nick's trying to tie him in a little bit, stop the fouling. But I think he could break the other side. Hopefully, not leave too much um, isolated on this side. Yeah. There's a pal. Huge pal. From the air. Uh, blockless block. Yeah, I mean, he really did. Well. That one's tougher because he can't blitz that guy. Yeah. Well, no. Now it's looking a bit ropey for him. <laughs> Could be a ball carrier blitz. Yeah, maybe. Can't really leave him there because the could get hit. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's got to be a ball carrier. I guess it could be a ball blitz, right? You could run around. Break tackle. GA5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, double GA5, 3 dice. In. Bosh. Possible, you might think about it. Here to do the GFIs. <laughs> Where is that from? <laughs> no, he's just blitzing him. <laughs> I don't know what that to do with GFIs. I don't know when that happened, <laughs> or if it happened. <laughs> That GFI doesn't help him a lot because it, it's. It's because he punch him. It's the other guy hitting him. But he's got stun for yeah. him. I guess it's not. He's not giving up the hit on the balls. So. No, I don't, I don't see it. Oh, well, I didn't think I'd go for it if I was Nick. I think you're not. You could get a 1D potentially with some stuff. Yeah, it doesn't seem worth it though, does it? I think it's better to just try and collapse the front. And uh, guard against a potato. What's my stand on the stand? I think it's shit. <laughs> I think it's shit on a lot of teams. Now, on dwarves, seeing as they already have block and tackle, then it becomes pretty good, doesn't it? <clears throat> on dwarves, it's the only way to... Because it won't like you're you're slow, and uh, you can't take like double guard. So the only way to have like more guard is to have it be stand firm. Yeah, but like I think for a chaos warrior, it's a bit shit because it could be claw and mighty blow and piling on and stuff. I think it's good on chaos warriors, like um, after guard, mighty blow, claw. Planning on. Stand firm. You only really want like two or three pine on at most. <laughs> Get out. For like the DCL. If you're like, if you, you know, if you have like a billion games, then it doesn't really matter. You can just build everyone to legend. 
You only want two planning on. What planet are you on? Do you know what the optimal amount of planning on is? 15. Because you want a ball carrier as well. <laughs> You don't want the ball carrier to be dirty player, claw palm, short hands. No, only oh yeah, maybe. Okay, 16 claw palm. <laughs> <laughs> the calcium ball carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Jansen's stance on diving tackle. Not a big fan. Another removal from this uh, runner. Yeah, it's great. But I like it again. I like I like I like that you know the tactic there of just blunting the front of the uh, try rather than trying anything ball related. Mm. Yeah, it just doesn't need it. Yeah, the bribe looking a terrible, terrible choice as he hasn't used it. He hasn't used his uh, babe or his bribe bribe. I don't think so. You could have had a wizard as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, like the the third player being sent off in the first half would have been not great. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I, I don't hate it. Obviously, it's, but it kind of had to go kind of all right. That's the that's the problem with a bribe. It's kind of got to be going all right for it to be good. Yeah, well, I think he's only, he's only made like three or four fouls actually, and it's like a turn. 13. So, I mean, he could well have done nothing with it instead of getting three removals. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's always good to have DP. The problem with dwarves is where do you tank it? And, you know, Nick knew that he was playing lizards and then playing either Chorfs or Chaos, where he's going to be down team value. Yeah. Definitely plays into it. This is, a, is he going to dodge the dirty player at the end to try and screen? Maybe. This looks a lot better with that. The dirty player around in front, doesn't it? Without that in front, it looks like he could. Uh, he could give something up. Hmm. Is he going to go for the three GFIs? Oh, <laughs> hit to do the GFIs. <laughs> it's that the last two, so he knew he was committing a reroll. Yeah, and he rolled a double one anyway. Oof. Yeah, I think that's okay. St he stacked two because that's fair enough, isn't it? Because he, he just he had to get there. One, yeah. He had to get there with the guard, didn't he? So even if he even if he pops, um, even if he pops, sure feet on the first one, he's going to make the second to get the guard there, and that's safer than uh, dodging. However, isn't it okay just... though if the ball is just standing in between these two troughs in the middle? Like the ball is, he's not going to get blitzed with tackle. Yeah, true, true. But I feel like he could have just not blitzed. You know, if he just doesn't blitz there, then he doesn't. And that's one less GFI in his own. Um, seven. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Done, yeah. Exactly. Oh, big one in nine. <laughs> Someone in Shawnee's cubicle. <laughs> Good morning, Skuro. Skuro's Miss O. <laughs> Skuro Miss O. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah, the runner can the other the shit runner can get back to cancel an assist there or or give an assist. Is he blitzed yet? Is he gonna blitz the ball with a runner? 
Who's he going to blame? Shit runner. Do you mean the uh, the non DP runner? Yeah, I mean the edge four one. Yeah, I mean the edge four bludger. He's the shit runner. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't removed anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big up Burr, the real MVP. So yeah, maybe he didn't need the stack then and commit the re-roll there because... Yeah, good, good point. I really like making the two GFIs to uh, get the guard next to him, but... Turns out he didn't need to, did he? No, I don't, I don't think there's any threat of the, the sack this turn. But now I think uh, I think Crucifer should be able to get. The problem is that edge four, but he hasn't. Again, he hasn't got tackle, has he? So in bludgy trusts, I think. I mean, he can just kind of. Uh, Almost potato down now, can't he? And uh, if he scores at all, he's got a chance, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, definitely. If he goes to overtime, he's still got a good shot. Yeah. I think, of, you know, with one ball, I think I'd still favour Nick. Um, who, well, Depends who wins the toss, really, but I think if Nick wins the toss, it's probably one. Yeah. Christopher wins the toss, it's less so. Just because of the re-roll situation, he could be... Yeah. He could be put into bad situations. He could, yes. Yeah, the Blitzer stand firm dodge. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. Should have should have succeeded that dodge. <laughs> oh, the cheeky one day. Oh, man. He should uphill the stand firm at power. Then he can dodge his uh his dirty player away. Yeah, and then get an injury off that block and then an injury on the one that's just DP foul. Exactly. And then winning overtime. Yeah. Easy game, easy life. But honestly, though, right, if he double powered there, it dodges around, comes in there, then you can block him as well and then that's looking great, isn't it? Yeah, I can't think of why he didn't just go for the double power there. It, it would have worked one in nine times. <laughs> and I if it doesn't work, you can be like, really game, eight in nine? Yeah, if it doesn't work, then he's probably in the same spot as he is anyway, right? He's probably just getting yeah, smashed by true. somebody anyway, so... Unless like he's rolled, rolled the skull, he's not really losing anything. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I meant. There wasn't... The failure state wasn't really anything to worry about. So while he would probably have failed... <laughs> um, I feel like the... The low odds dice roll was kind of worth it. Big, not uh, no armor break there. Yep. Yeah. And being a both down already, do you geofy this? <laughs> I think I might. But actually, it's too easy for the bull, isn't it? Yeah, there's yeah. a bull there. I, I think you, you just play conservative here. With, you know, you just want to force the score. If you can, if you can score and you've got a chance to two turn, that's okay. You don't want to use your reroll on the on the GFI, do you? See, that's it. He was he was just he was just making him punch him. If he didn't punch him there, then he's got an extra line on here. And like, what does he even do? Like, what does this line or do if he's if he was free at the start of the turn? Not a lot. He can't really go anywhere or do anything. So I do, I do think it was worth going for the one in nine uphill double powers. It sounds stupid, but I don't think it was as stupid as it sounds. No, no, no. Because, it, you know, it's a situation where you're not gaining anything and you're not losing anything if it fails. Oh, 
might stay up that runner first because you can block here and then you can run back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Maybe you didn't see this guy. Really would have liked to have seen him run back. Could have fouled, he's still got the bright, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does the, does the double G5 at the end, and then you could do that without committing a reroll. Quite like that. Seems like he didn't take a block here in the middle. Yeah, that's oh. weird, isn't it? I don't get that. I would have made that block and then dodged the dodged him out. I'd base the bull as well, just to, just cause double G5 to base the bull. Why not? Or just get him back. Oh. Here we go. Dodge and score. Could be another reroll gone. A two turner for Nick. Ah, I think that's nothing to be scared of. I think you should have punched him. <laughs> Got it. Well, there you go, just roll three pluses. Good advice from Trisifer. But now, Vanek's got the chance to win it in normal time, hasn't he? And of course, he's got a wizard to help push through the score as well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Chuckles. He doesn't even have Troll Slayers. Yeah, it's funny that he doesn't have Troll Slayers. He's got the Troll Slayer logo. <laughs> and the Troll Slayer name. And <laughs> doesn't have any Troll Slayers. No way, and I struggle on that, to be honest, the all three pluses. That trough stays out. Yeah. Stunned trough is code trough. He's had not yeah. <laughs> he hasn't had a lot of luck in this game, has he, Christopher? No. I mean, he's done well to get this far, really. Yeah. Yeah, he has. Um, yeah, I've, 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 I've rolled a two plus on occasion, then, yeah. A duck. <laughs> It must have at some point. I can't remember it, but it must have happened. <laughs> must have happened. Probably about five times out of six, I've rolled a two plus. <laughs> <laughs> I've made all insightful comments. Thank you, AD. <laughs> I've specified when fouls were good and weren't so good. <laughs> yes, all the time, Grimdog, yeah. Yeah, sorry if the commentary's been balls, but it's it's very early in England, and it's uh, you know my apologies. <laughs> and uh, we 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 we've we've learned uh, Shawnee's dating technique of turning up on his mobile toilet. <laughs> I enjoyed that part. Yes, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> how I conduct all my dates it's it's not 1pm it's 12.26 it's not 12.45 it's not 7.30 <laughs> why are you why are you Raj what kind of Raj time zones are you fuckers in <laughs> it's not 7.30 though there you go 26 that's that's a time 
There are some. There are some like in Australia. There's half hour time zones, isn't there? But I think it's only in half. It's only in Australia with half hour time zones, isn't it? Yeah, I think there might be somewhere in India. It's really weird. Um, there's only a couple of them. Yeah. Crikey! Oh yeah, Russia maybe. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure that I saw it. There's, there's, isn't there what? Is it Australia where there's some that are like ahead of ones that are below them and stuff? Or am I confused? What, oh, what the places are like further east but have a. Yeah, a, I think uh, so. Weather. That that could be that could be the thing in 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 Australia. I, I know there was something weird in in Australia to do with time zones, not just how far ahead they were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, teams get a reroll. No. Le match ne peut pas se terminer sur un nul, mais enfin faites quelque chose. I don't think he's going to get this, really. <laughs> No, I might try and try to hit through the middle and hit the bowl. To be honest, yeah, yeah, because then then he hasn't got a bowl to defend with. Yeah, it's a good shout. Like obviously, it's way easier to hit the hobble and stuff, but if you knock over the bowl, then he hasn't got a bowl. <clears throat> well, you've got the the strength four guy; he can blitz the bowl, no, and you don't have the issue of the stand firm. Not anymore. He's fucking activated him. He's activated the strength four. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I would have set up to use the strength four. Oh, like, right, I kind yeah. of, like, if you got the knockdown here, it's, then he, yeah. he should be through. Yeah, because these two stand firms are a bit annoying. So, yeah, go through the middle. And then that counts the stand firm and also counts the bull. So, yeah, I, I would have liked to have gone straight through the min straight through the middle. Really, Jesus, you really I, I I didn't fall for that when I was a child. I was about I was about six or seven when I heard that the first time. Obviously if we're the same for a ton. However, the iron would uh, hit the ground first, wouldn't it, if it uh, if you were to drop them both. <laughs> because of uh, wind resistance and stuff. No, country in Australia says crikey, did they not? We say crikey a lot. That's that's how you done it. That's how you denote somebody. Uh, somebody's from Australia by saying crikey. It's a bit like Wales. You say you say um, boy or even though probably no one from Wales says boy or if you say. I've never heard that until you said it <laughs> about the boy o thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean not that I. No, many people from Wales. <laughs> but, <you're... laughs> but it's just, it's just, a, it's just the kind of, you know, all those shit, all those shit people who do voices, uh, you know, all the cunts on the t on fucking Britain's Got Talent, who like say, I'm Paul Daniels <laughs> in their opening line, so that you know who the fuck they're, they're trying to impersonate. <laughs> It's the same kind of thing by doing boyo and uh, crikey. <laughs> oh dear. It's weird. I'm not even convinced that it, 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 anyone's Welsh or that it exists. No, I believe it sounds it's like a, a fake place. Yeah, I believe it's a hoax. Made by sheep farmers. <laughs> yeah, made by sheep farmers to, sh to sell wool. <laughs> <laughs> That where everyone's like, oh, blah, blah, blah is a hoax by dirt to sell dirt. Yeah. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Irish say, oh, be Jesus to be true, to be true, be gorra. <laughs> Don't they? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's close. <laughs> So I guess he just hits that guy with that guy. <laughs> Only one scoring threat. 
It doesn't yeah, matter that the ball carriers kind of hit the ball, does it? You've just got to hit the uh, scoring threat on three dice. <laughs> Yeah. He's going to stay standing there and score because he's the MVP. <laughs> oh, God, imagine if he does. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it was the right pass. No. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> no! He's my favourite. He's the only player I care about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck the rest of them. Hit that guy with that guy, yeah. Well, everyone knew what I meant, didn't they? <laughs> there wasn't much to say. There's one guy who can score. You've got all these guys who can hit him, so just hit that guy with that guy. <laughs> TV of you. He's gonna, is he going to foul him? No. Gdenic can get him a good foul, though. And probably hit the ball carrier. Oh god, yeah, this is a great one. Three dice him with mighty blow, and then and then can't foul him with dirty player, sadly. But can probably foul him. He's got a reserve. Does he have a rookie anywhere? It's quite far away, the rookie. But um, one, two, three, five. Uh, really yeah. Yeah. He couldn't knock him there, and then one, two, three, four, GFI foul. Yeah, so push him to here. Ooh, he can't re-roll it, can he? No. No. <laughs> Even with four re-rolls. I would no, have been tempted. Re I would have been tempted, but you can't. It would have been really nice. I mean, you could have you could have done, to be fair, and you could have got a huge foul no. with a rookie. You could have re-rolled that, you know. With four re-rolls, you could have re-rolled no. it. No, because it's overtime. I know, but you four re-rolls. I know it's overtime, but with four re-rolls, I think you could have overtime. Over I think you've got a foul there as well, even just on, I mean, you know, because the send-off doesn't do anything, you've got a bench. Yeah, he should have fouled, he should have fouled somebody. That was absolute wrong play, that was, that was absolutely, definitively wrong to not foul, wasn't it? It's like the Dwarves have won the toss. Oh, well, uh, Ripperoni. Ripperoni Cruz. He's, at least he's got 11 men. But um, it's looking real tough for him, isn't it? Down down such good players. Yeah, I mean, if you're Nick, you can, um, you can try and play a bit safe. You've got the re-roll advantage. You don't know, really do anything. You'd have to re-roll. You can try and wait... Uh, Try and get some men up on him. Wait until late in the half so you don't get scored on. Yeah, yeah. The good thing is that you can score at any time, so it's not like you have. To, like the hard part of offense is stalling out till turn eight, isn't it? Well, you don't have to do that. You can mm. just score any time and win, so it makes it so much easier. Yeah, I do think though that with over overtime, people like they they push down a sideline or whatever, and it's like, oh, well, these are some rolls that I need that need to work, and then you end up using re rolls. And there's enough time that your opponent can still score. Yeah. I think if you receive an overtime and you've got like a re-roll advantage, you should try and burn some turns. Yeah. So that it's either you're going to kicks or you're scoring. It's more likely. That seems reasonable. <laughs> Stomper Jequity. He should have fouled that guy with that guy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had a rookie, didn't he? And now he's ended up with a rookie on the bench, so he, he absolutely had to foul the rookie. There was, it was inexcusable yeah. to not foul the rookie there. There was nothing. It was, it was only upside to foul the rookie there. Whether he should have re-rolled that hit? Yeah, I, I guess actually with four three on re-rolls. Yeah, I guess you can't re-roll it. Because you, you always could lose the toss, couldn't you? And then it's better to have four to three if it goes to tosses. If it goes to tosses. If it goes to <laughs> toss. If it goes to kicks. Then, um, yeah, so you could have, yeah, so you couldn't really have re-rolled it. But um, it's just such a good play to remove, though, you know? Like, the fact that you're going to pom him and then foul him as well. Um, if you if you get that player for overtime, like, that's worth a re-roll if you, if you remove him, isn't it? For sure. Like, that's a hell of a player to remove. For all the time. I don't think so. I mean, like, 
I think if, cause, because if you if you don't get it, you can still fan someone else. Yeah, that's like true. Yeah, that's true. And um, you know, if you have more rerolls, it's not just for kicks. You can always you can be more liberal with using them. Yes, that's very true. Um, very true. I was just trying to talk myself into using the reroll, but it, I mean, I wouldn't. Have <laughs> it. I wouldn't have rerolled the mans. I would not have rerolled it, but I was just trying to think: would it have been? Because I would have wanted to reroll it. <laughs> so I was just trying to think: would it have been terrible to have rerolled it? Maybe it wouldn't have been. It didn't make that three dice. He could have. He could have got the guard and blitzed this guy, and then uh, made that three dice. I feel like he should have made that three dice. I think he's good. I guess now he can blitz this side to get this foul. Well, he's not fouling with a dirty player. Mm, I might have left one of the mighty blows to hit a hobgoblin. Yeah, I would have definitely been blitzing a hobgoblin with mighty blow. I like it. I like hitting him with the strength four, but only to make it three dice. Like get a guard in, hit him with three, so you can knock over the fucking bastard little shit that he is. <laughs> and then hit, a, hit a hobble with mighty. Yeah, doesn't doesn't kill him. Never lucky. <laughs> I'm not sure about having this guy behind because he's only got the one bull, hasn't he? So he's not that scared of somebody running all around the side. He could have had a could have got a one assist foul on the hobgoblin. He's got the bribe after all, hasn't he? C'est peu, j'imagine. Ce sont tous d'excellents cuistots. Il en faut six, pas un de moins. Sinon, il reste de la place dans la marmite. <laughs> God, it's so fucking boiling. I'm pissed off. I tell you, it's too fucking hot. Too hot. Yeah, it has been pretty boiling the last few days. Yeah. Fuck. I'm getting my lockdown tan on. <laughs> no lockdown time. Are you quarantine body ready? Or whatever that fucking ad was. <laughs> everyone like lost their sh they like everyone lost their show but like the some ad about are you beach body ready? <laughs> really? But are you lockdown body ready? Oh yeah. I was born ready for lockdown to be <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, same. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's affected my life so much. Not really. <laughs> it's basically the same. Yeah. yeah, I took a 30 minute drive to check my eyes on. As, as, as suggested by government guidelines. <laughs> How with ball carrying don't use the bride to assert dominance. Yeah. Um, gifting rent boy a win. Uh, <laughs> did I gift him a win? <laughs> he won though, he's been the tag champs, stream champ, stream champ and stream tag champ now as old bakers. Well, 
that's all man's, apart from one man's. Yeah, nearly all man's. Very aggressive. Which forces the issue quite a bit, which I think makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I like this. He's, he's, he's outgunned. Mm -hmm. He's got parity in terms of men at, at the moment. Behind yeah, on the think... So. Try to uh, man him up, see what happens. I don't think you want to trade blitz for three turns and then start doing this um, when you're potentially down men. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. closer to kicks. Yeah. Yeah, Snackers has the tag, but I mean, he's he's one of the few people to have held both. <laughs> um, there is no wizard, no win. Um, Gadenik went with a bribe and a an, and, uh, babe rather than a wizard. Not what I would have done. But You're saying it's shit and wrong. But who can say whether it was good or bad? I heard you said it was shit or not. I didn't say that. He did earlier, Wayne Farrow, when you weren't here. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's shit and wrong. It's just not to my taste, is it? I mean, that's genuine. That's a genuine use of the. Can't say whether it's right or wrong. Which is yeah. why I think it's stupid saying that over things that are just obviously shit and wrong. Like, that's why I don't like this fucking, you know, the whole sugarcoating things and euphemisms and all this kind of crap, because sometimes it's true, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I basically agree. I mean, you have to say if something's bad. Yeah, I agree. So sometimes things are shit and wrong, and sometimes things are just not what I would have done, but probably better than what I would have done, or maybe right, maybe wrong, and just not to my taste. <laughs> Shit according things. <laughs> Sugar coating. <laughs> oh, I thought he'd have blitzed the hob there. Did he not blitz that turn? No, I don't think so. I think, well, the, the DP runner is the impulse you really could have, and he would have... He could have. He could have blitzed. Uh, he could have blitzed with this this Lino who who just moved in. The Lino could have blitzed the. Uh, oh yeah, against this hobgoblin. Yeah. yeah. He, could have, he could have blitzed. Uh, he could have blitzed the claw. Yeah, I think that's that was what he should have done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Skuro. There's one thing about <laughs> sugar coating things and stuff, but when you're uh, when you're personally attacking <laughs> Jim's McMahon's favourite son, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, that's that's beyond the that's so far beyond the line. The line is a duck to you. I can't rap Norway and Farah. Winning toss, you mean kicks, Wayne Farrow? Chance of winning the toss is 50 50. Winning kicks is uh, vastly in favour. You're about 2 to 1 with one more reroll. With two, two, two advanced reroll advantage, you massive favourite. Yeah, so really you don't have to push if you're Nick. Only if it's. Better to push than stay where you, staying where you are. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Chris has put the pressure on. Annoying, uh, annoying stand firm there for Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> Carries on standing firm. <laughs> Maths, hey Dev. Come on, you're not you're not American. Maths. <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh, there you go. Look at that. Store BB with a command. That's, that's what it is. That's why I think in the World Cup, when they're like some Skaven received against Dwarves, and they had like five rerolls because they kept getting rerolls on the toss. <laughs> and like they just bombarded forward for a two turn, and it was like insane. <laughs> like, why would like you, you're like 90 something or percent to win if you just do nothing <laughs> and like just let all the dwarfs run forward and then win? Yeah, <laughs> this was like the first Blood Bowl 2 World Cup, and it was just a massive shit show. Yeah, so he does blitz a hub all this time, but slight advantage for Chris, isn't it? He had to stand up a few players. This turn, so now Chris will get an advantage blocking next turn. Yeah, I think so. Oof. Gets the removal. This fucking runner. <laughs> Burr. The absolute best, best dwarf that's ever been in a CCL final, probably. Yeah, I mean, it's what a performance. Four removals, is it? <laughs> maybe five, five, maybe. Yeah, I think he's made five. <laughs> yeah, because he got three on the fouls, and he just rando casts that uh, bull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, five removals. <laughs> what a god. And he nearly won it in, all, in, in normal time as well as the, as the scoring threat, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he didn't get powered there. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get three dice by a fucking ball. <laughs> yeah, DP runs pretty, pretty, pretty decent to be fair. I don't hate it. Yeah, I mean, it certainly made sense over, you know, if you didn't know your opponents where well, you might pick tackle or something like that. Um, but given his opponents, it's definitely the correct decision. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, to be fair, I've taken Dirty Player on, on a runner on Fumble because it was bugged and it took you a square of movement to foul. <laughs> so, so it really put a premium on high movement players to foul. <laughs> like, you really had to have a skeleton on, a, on an undead team to foul with and stuff. <laughs> yeah, my living rule book four amazing. orcs were amazing, yeah. They were really good. The Dirty, dirty Player... Fucking orcs were amazing. They fucking nearly, the only the the only game they lost was to the guy who got who lost in the final of the Fumble Cup. So that was pretty good. That like the the results were amazing. I beat I beat an orc team that had about a thousand TV advantage <laughs> just by fouling the fuck out of him because Dirty Player used to be pretty good. Yeah, and it was with dwarves, it's like that's the only player who can't get guard. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So like you're losing the least by by fa by losing the run around. That's the thing. Like if you get a long beard sent off, if if you give a long beard dirty player, it could have been guard or stand firm or mighty blow for a fresh start. And second of all, then if you get him sent off, you you're down a long beard that could have had guard. Whereas if you get a shitty fucking runner with dirty player sent off, you don't even care because he's just a shitty runner anyway. So. And he gives you the two turn option, so I I do like I really do like the the dirty player runner. I like him. Yeah, Best he's done team. done well, done pretty well. <laughs> Don't know that he would have won the game without. Yeah. Well, he's not won the game. No. Don't know that he would have done this well without him. Obviously, he got lucky on some of the fouls. Yeah. Um, best built team I don't know I haven't really been interested this season Kogi. maybe Shawnee could tell you um, but I mean Christopher I thought Christopher was the favourite coming in the final but definitely had the worst dice hasn't he which has made which has made uh, Gadenic the favourite losing these players is pretty big well the thing is is Christopher didn't have that good a team coming in um, it was like 1700 or something he didn't have the claw I think one of the piling ons was he leveled him up. Mm. It looks really quite bare. Um, I don't think he had a big bench. And he might have even had two rerolls. <laughs> wow. 
think there, I think there's a sheet somewhere I could go back and have a look. Um, second skill. I mean, really hated his team, but in the final, I thought I thought he was favoured in the final, really. But just dicing it. That's the thing. Like losing the ball, you don't expect to lose the ball to a Randall hit, do you? And that makes him that swings who the favourite is massively. Um, yeah. So Kruska's team at the start of round one, he had an MNG movement three, chorf. Oh, that's a nice injury. There. He didn't have any claw. He had, he still had seven guard, uh, <laughs> one piling on, one stand firm. No claw, no block on the ball carrier. So he's really like developed it well throughout the playoffs. Oh, huge oh, foul. Beautiful. Gets sent off, but it's well worth it, isn't it? Absolutely. Great trade. Oh, makes a bit of trouble here now. Yeah, a lot of trouble, I would say. A lot of trouble. Haha, <laughs> dirty lineman. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what a team that was. What a fucking team that was. Card difference of plus 40 in 10 games. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. Oh. Love that team. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't have hated the rush forward that much. The problem is it would have been a complete potato, wouldn't it? Now, what he's probably got to do is like hunker down in the middle of the field and try to uh, get to over, try to get the kicks, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you might be able to get away with the late potato. Christopher still probably uh, keeps trying to pressure you. Yeah. Which means you might get a good route forward. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was Quaz, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was brilliant as well, because Quaz, Quaz said uh, there was a there was a forum thread of, like, how to be a real dick on Fumble, and Quaz was like, uh, find a match from ages ago where you beat somebody and then and then write a comment so they get, and they get reminded about getting beat by you. So, <laughs> so, I, so I did it to him. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Eleven fouls, get banged on. <laughs> yeah, the swing left does look pretty attractive, but I mean, he, he's got enough movement to cover it, hasn't he? Probably wants to leave uh, leave the runner out. Out the other side. Leave the runner where he is. I think he has to leave the runner here. Otherwise the ball can run around. And then by leaving him there, he could make him a... Cheeky little thing. <laughs> Do you hear, Dev? <laughs> Match reporting. I might do it just for a laugh. OT decider. I, well, I think in Blood Bowl too. I think uh, Shawnee seems to not like the rebel the rebel way of doing it. Um, no, I don't really. I like it more than normal. I think it, it creates like a situation where the game could be over quite quickly because it's kind of like, okay, I have to go for the score. Or rather like defense, it's just like, okay, you have to score. So I don't really have to press you. I can just hang back. I don't need to worry about picking up, you know, picking up the ball and scoring. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the, per the person who receives, they're playing the game as if they're a touchdown down. And the person who defends is playing as if they're a touchdown up, but they're not. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I I I don't hate that at all, to be honest. I I, I do quite think that's all right in Blood Bowl too. Um, 
But um, if you weren't constrained by the client, I would rather give the defending player, well, not the defending, the guy who lost the toss, give them a re-roll or two or three or whatever, you know, so that mm. they've got... I mean, if you're, if it's a league or something, I don't know, because if you have, I guess you'd have to do it, like, you wouldn't be able to do a full bracket. But if you're like, okay, if you defend, then you get plus whatever on kicks, if it goes to kicks... Yeah. But I would like to give the rerolls, you know, because then they can use the rerolls to improve the defense, or they can make the decision to hold them back to help with the toss if they get there. So I've, I feel like that would be a really more blood bowly as well than just saying the guy who kicked won, you know? Like adding a bit more ran, like blood ball likes the randomness, doesn't it? So. Mm. <laughs> wow, really hurt her. No, I, I really don't hate the uh, I really don't hate the rebel. I mean given given that it's in the context of Blood Bowl 2 and the limitations that there are. We are removing our team clan next season and allowing draws, interesting. Yeah, I think the main thing I don't like is it like it puts extra value on attrition where it's the it's already got like massively enhanced value because it's overtime yeah. where if you know if you're against a team and you can draw and put them down loads of players it doesn't matter if you're attacking or defending cool yeah. heavily favored yeah fair enough whereas at least if they win the toss um it could be a situation where they can stall a few turns or something yeah. Yeah, I remember Sage always wanting that, which I always, I would never want that if there were other options. You know, I would never want the, I would never want the rebel rule if there were other options. But the fact that they're constrained by the client and there aren't other options mean that I uh, dislike it a lot less, and in fact, maybe even like it. <laughs> but yeah, I completely disagree with Sage with it being like a good idea. Full stop. But I think it's I think it, within the limitations of football too, I don't hate it at all. T B H. Because it is just look who wins the toss, so like if you don't have that, whoever wins the toss is just massively favoured, aren't they? Yeah, I mean it is it's definitely a big advantage. I mean, it's not the only thing going on because you know, people pick teams with lots of rerolls or lots of players or they want to play a bashy kill team or whatever because that all plays into having an advantage in overtime. Mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought it would Yeah, I mean, plus one or plus two rerolls or whatever, because then it, it's giving you more leeway to actually play better defense as well, isn't it? And, you know, you could choose to just use those rerolls to try and turn them over and score yourself, or you could, you, you know, it would just it would give more play to it, wouldn't it? This is interesting, isn't it? This uh, this blodge hobo could get fouled by the super the super runner. Yeah. Oh, that's a huge one in nine. I think he wanted to free up the uh, strength four pommer. Might have to blitz with the strength four pommer against him. Bit stand firm is the only thing. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, the point is it that we don't know, do we? You know, we haven't got any fucking idea. That's just you blowing hot air and me blowing hot air. So I think if you were like to actually test it and get data and stuff, then you might find out that one reroll doesn't make much difference, so two rerolls would be better, or three rerolls or whatever. So I would like to see some data on it, and then you know make a actual proper decision rather than um, rather than just say one reroll is right or two rerolls is right or whatever. 
That is simply not true. The data <laughs> does not yes. support your assertion. Cheeky bit of dough. Yeah, do, do, do you base with the ball carrier as well here? I think you do. It's not that big a threat. You've got yep. two guard there. Yep. It's extra big. square forward as well. Yep, three the left ball. Lovely, jubbly, big stun. Oh, baby. <laughs> he killed him! Good God, God Almighty! Amongst men. Good God Almighty! He killed him! <laughs> the sixth removal. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, man. Broccoli! <laughs> and yeah, still hasn't used his prime. That does make Taylor a lot more promising, because there's not a lot. I mean, obviously he's got the bull, which is the big threat. But there's not a lot of players, and the bull doesn't have tackle. Yeah. Not a lot of players, Christopher can get back. Um, mm. They can't be tied up easily. Question is, does Chris go for the uh, go for the ball now? Um. Yeah. I mean, was it like a four-two? No. Four-four. <laughs> Maybe a four-two. Well, I guess you don't need to do the second dodge. You can just do a four. Cause oh that... yeah, yeah, just be a four. Yeah, yeah. Could it? Could have just gone for the four in, couldn't he? Yeah, I don't know why I thought he had to do two there. <laughs> yeah, he could have just gone for the four in, couldn't he? Maybe he should have done. Not great odds, but it's maybe you know it's like slipping away, isn't it? And maybe that was a chance to stop it that he maybe should have gone for. Yeah, it's, it's not looking. He's going to GFI to hit with a claw, maybe. It looks looks like that's what he's doing. Like he might still be able to uh, to get in the way and stop it. What's the game, Scott Fee? <laughs> Don't like the follow up. I think he didn't really think about what happens if he pushes. <laughs> to be honest. I think that's one of those situations where you haven't really given it a lot of thought and you think, fuck it, I'll follow and then afterwards you think, oh, I should have probably thought of another minute before I did that. <laughs> oh no, too new for you. R.I.P. the core chuff. Oh, oh R.I.P. that dwarf. <laughs> he's dead, but it's not so relevant. I mean, it's it's huge in terms of he's freed up two players there, but they're on the wrong side, and one of them slow as fucking balls. So, <laughs> it, I guess if anything, it adds urgency to uh, Kadenik's break down the flank. Because he doesn't want to get closed in around the back. Yeah, yeah. I think he's got to. Uh, I think he's got to go down. Go down the sideline now, hasn't he? Yeah, he's played very well. I'm too new for you. To be fair, to be fair, the Crucy has played pretty damn well. I mean, the overtime has been good. He's done a lot of pressuring, which has made it. Uh, not made it easy for Nick. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's a very good match actually, yeah. Lucky fuck. I think Krusev has been on the bad end of like all of the dice. <laughs> Pretty much. And he's still made a fight out of it. Nick's dicing more people. <laughs> Does this man have no mercy? <laughs> He's not Oriolensis, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a big one in nine. Amazing that the Claw Chorf didn't die after giving up a 2D hit from that run. <laughs> Lethal. Let's him with that. Yep. Bangs him down. Doesn't fall. I guess maybe he's going two squares forward. Yeah. Or I don't know. I don't know. 
doesn't follow. <laughs> ah, it goes in anyway. Fair enough. Do you know what I like? I think I liked hitting the claw guy with him and then double GFI with the strength thought to blitz the bull. And then just fucking running past the, uh, then fouling the bull and running past the uh, hobble. And I think that would have been my play. Like, it's not nice, is it? But I feel like you had to do something a bit fucking frisky. That follow seems a bit iffy to me. Mm. I can't, I mean, it's just like, I don't know why, it just seems wrong. I mean, I wouldn't have done it, but it's probably fine. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it, but who can say it was good or bad? <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, I'm like that to be honest. Yeah, no, I know what you mean, I know exactly what you mean, I think, oh, yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't, but I just wouldn't. And I do things as well, I don't know why I do them, but, you know, I push somebody at a certain square and I think, I don't know why I push them that square. Yeah. But I feel like it was the right square to push him to. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I wouldn't have followed either just because he's strength four, isn't he? And he's got two guys on him and then you've got two guys on the bull and stuff. I feel like I wouldn't have followed there either. Woohoo! Oh, baby. Draw a block to the right and blitz the left side. <laughs> Huge pal. Does that mean he can escape? Does that, mean, does that mean he can escape the ball? He can. Does he just eat potatoes now, doesn't he? Surely. Surely he just fully potatoes. No! Oh! Huh? Oh, I would like the potato there, I think, you know. I see. Yeah, run down. Uh, you can't really get away from this chorf on the right-hand side. Yeah, you could get away from everybody. If you look at my stream now, I've got I've got my cursor over, over the square he could have got to. He gets away from everybody there. Oh, yeah. So they can only base. Yeah, that would have been really good. I mean, I guess he was running out of time. But yeah, yeah. that's definitely... Yeah, I would have liked that. Well, the, the, there's a Mark's Trough that could reach him, but it's a Mark's Trough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would have quite liked that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is three two pluses, and you haven't got a reroll on any of them, but I would have still liked it. Yeah, the problem is if you fail the first one, yeah, you're still kind of committed to them, yeah. Or you're going to get punched by people. <laughs> One, the next time it looks times. like it'll be okay, though. Yeah, you, you are committed to doing all of them because of that chaff, but still. Uh, this, this back one, but he wouldn't have had a... He wouldn't have had... Um, he wouldn't have had tackle. So. And you would have made four GFIs as well, yeah. Qu'est-ce que t'as enregistré sur ta Wismo box? À part de vieux matchs de Blood Bowl. I mean, he could have followed, he could have followed the bull, ah oh, no, the bull doesn't matter, he, he can't really go down this way because the bull catches you. Unless you somehow control the bull. I mean, yes, he's only got two turns left, right? It's like, it's not like he's going to get a much better chance than that. No, I mean... Chris can set up his turn knowing that Nick has to push into scoring range. Yeah. What? Oh. 
Time, you have to dodge this bottle, surely, now. Yeah, I would think so. Maybe not. Okay, if you leave him here, um, I guess you can try and cover the potato into the middle. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, no! No! No, Christopher, no! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think the potato into the middle looks um, looks really good. Yeah, it looks super good now, doesn't it? These two chorfs aren't stand firm or anything. So I think they get cleared out quite easily. Yeah. Um, we try and free the DP runner to mark the palm stand firm in the backfield. Yeah. Or maybe blitz with something else. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, mm, interesting. I don't like, I don't like this hobble. I don't feel like he's doing anything. Uh, the one that El Bucho adjacent to the uh, bull, I feel like he could have been in the backfield or just behind. Yeah, I don't think it was a threat that he was going to push through um, this bull. Yeah. You've just stuck another guy on a stand firm. Dude, really, it's essentially all, all you've managed there. Oh, he's blitzing on that guy. Oof. Or to get the That's guard rough. on for the hit with the runner, maybe, or something. I think to get the guard onto the palm stand firm, so then you've got all the tackle ah, yes. tied up. Yeah. You could re-roll this, can you? I think you kind of have to. Doesn't... How does he break through? Oof. I think that's that's like a we're going to kicks kind of non-re-roll there. Yeah. Yeah, fair. I think the odds on it were good. Like, the odds that you burn a crease for three rollers, but I think are quite good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if he, get, if he gets the pow there, bases him, yeah, and then he just goes through. Yeah, that was the play, wasn't it? It's a new you can system. still get, if you power both these stand firmers in the middle, you can kind of run to the side. But these two guys now, um, two troughs in the backfield can reach it. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Maybe just um, run away because, like, you know, and then rely on your plus one on kicks. And you just run back. Yeah. See, now I think that <laughs> Christopher did like defending this very well. He's kind of earned the win, you know, like uh, that's why I kind of like, again, given the limitations of Blood Bowl too, that's why I kind of like the Rebel Rule because there was no skill in Gedernik winning the toss and getting a massive advantage. And there was skill in Christopher defending it, even, even if he only had to stop the touchdown at all, you know? But if this was the rebel rule, I mean, Nick would have played far more aggressively. Yeah, that's, but I, I think that's good. Yeah. But I mean, like, uh, yeah, and you know, it's not like he could have chose to play aggressively still. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, well, Cruz stopped the score, but it stopped the score under the rules that Nick is a 67% to win if he doesn't use a reroll. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Thanks for the raid there, Hancock. <laughs> Um, but I just feel like that's better. You know what I mean? Like I think that's. I think it's better to. Uh, I just think it's better. I think it's better than just doing this. You know. I think it's better than this. I think the way they would have both played. If they knew Christopher was going to win, was better than playing like this or whatever, I don't know. No, I know you can't compare. What I mean is you can compare how they would have played it. How they would have both played the half. So that, so by him putting that guy on there, he does get the power and he does get the bull hit. So, Christopher's... But... Crucifer's hobgoblin on the stand firm guy pays off and he gets the hit on the ball. Yeah. 
and you can get a hobgoblin into range potentially. Yeah. But he can't re-roll it, can he? So you can't re-roll any. Do you do the blitz first? Knowing that you can't re-roll anything. <laughs> can't re-roll anything. I don't think it, it doesn't really matter. If you, if you think, oh, if I get the power, I might re-roll the hop. You know, then you could do it that way around. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Could hit him that way. I think you blitz him, and then if you power him, mm. and the ball scatters well, then maybe you can re-roll the hobo blitz, dodge, and pick up and everything. Definitely don't re-roll the hit. And you just run him back there, can't you? And if it fails, it fails. So he made he made the uh, canoring threat there without a reroll. That was pretty good of him, wasn't it? Yeah. Next time, I what to do then? Yeah. You can't blitz him with him, so you can stand him up, block him, and then if he gets the power, he can fucking dodge away, can he? Yeah, if he, if he gets the ball. Down the field, then it should be done. Yeah. If you get to push here, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? I'm fine, Modesco. Yeah, stand firm. Stand firm! Maybe winning it for Crucifer. Unbelievable, Jeff. You might have to re-roll the burn, uh, re-roll the dodge. I think you, would you? I think you'd have to. You've got to re-roll the dodge, yeah. <laughs> Run a blitz. Nah, no, yeah, you've got the 2D on and gets the pal. Thirty-six. Dirty little Dino gets away. Well, it's looking pretty safe now, isn't it? Yeah. The most interesting part of the match now. <laughs> and everyone's favourite part of overtime. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> do you just dodge, G if, if, assuming he's still standing upright, do you just dodge... GFI one dice with him, I think you do. And then you've got the ball to try and pick it up and pass. <laughs> yeah, I think that's your that's the play. I think Nick's conservative uh, conservative play in overtime was the right play. I think I said before that this is how because like what you don't want to do is be in a situation where you failed and you don't have the kick situation. You're putting the pressure on Chris to kind of be like, okay, well, stop me from just potatoing or having a wee roll advantage in kicks. Yeah. And this is the worst possible scenario. Well, not the worst possible scenario, but this is like as bad as you could reasonably expect with that strategy and your winning the game two-thirds of the time. Yeah. Right. So... You can't chain... 
I mean, we could chain him out, but then he hasn't got the ball to pick up afterwards. <laughs> so then he just dodges and... Oh, God. He could chain him out, and then he can go one, two, three, four, GFI, punch him that way, and then this guy can go and pick it up and pass it. So that's probably better, actually. He probably does the block block to chain him out now. Yeah, because the ball isn't, uh, with the runner being there, the ball isn't in, in as good a spot. Yeah. I even just put, put, push the middle guy further forward. One, two, three, four, GFI. Uh, what, the middle chorf? Yeah, I think you push the middle chorf diagonally. The, 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 the movement three one? Is he movement three? The one of the mids, the one on the... Yeah, the movement three one then, yeah. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck it, the movement three one. Push him diagonally forward, then he double GFIs to hit 1D. And then if he knocks him, he pushes him back there and the ball scatters to one of these squares and he can go pick it up and do it. But obviously don't re-roll anything because it's fucking horrible. <laughs> and like re-roll the catch on the hobgoblin, probably. Oh, what's... Oh. It's going for the chain... Get the ball. Doesn't do a whole lot, does it? No, it's still two dodges, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well, fairly you can't re-roll that. No. Oh. Right. Well. Two thirds to Gadenik. Let's see what happens. Imagine losing a chalice final and being a re-roll up. <laughs> I can't imagine that. <laughs> it must be devastating. Yeah, it must be. Especially after getting diced by fucking Norse. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're ahead of me as well, so try not to spoil it, please. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I think you're a little bit. No, I was just. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, good God, almighty! <laughs> Oh, are they, are they literally going to take four and three of the reroll kicks first? <laughs> yeah. That seems entirely unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're probably going to do that, yeah. <laughs> entirely unnecessary. Oh, God. I'm going to spoil it, Jim, but it's three all. <laughs> yeah. Probably going to be 4 3 as well, right? 4 4, in fact, because he'll roll a 1 as well and then add 3 to it. <laughs> so it's going to be at least 5 4. <laughs> it's got to be minimum 10, right? Minimum 10. I, I don't know. I think you can miss the first one if you roll a 1. Can you? Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> there, well, that, that sorts that. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks, Flicky Fuck. Well, congrats to Gadenik. Well rolled. <laughs> Some good existing by Gadenik exists. <laughs> Are you up to date with that meme? No. Nope. Um, well, Artemis, <laughs> after casting a game where Nick uh, was playing in, he said that Nick just existed and the dice allowed him to win. <laughs> so, Nick is very good at existing and allowing the dice allowing him to win. Yeah. Well, there you go. That, that's what happened there. <laughs> Continues to exist to another chalice. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, G'day Nick. Yeah, congrats, G'day Nick. Sloppy yeah. Nick. Yeah, I mean, won the, won the toss and then won the kicks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was a very valiant attempt by Christopher and uh, obviously you know it's not yeah. like Gadenic played terrible or anything it's just I feel like Christopher played really well um, and just didn't get the dice did he I thought but I thought I do think uh -huh. it was a valiant effort by Christopher yeah 
I think, you know, the only thing that would have changed was moving, like, the his turn seven defense. Yeah. But, you know, that's the difference between a win, potentially, and going to overtime. Yeah. Yeah. That was... So you can play as well as you want for 24 turns, <laughs> but you misplace a chalk on turn seven, and your opponent has to roll like a four and a three and a whatever instead of a five and a three. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, congrats, Gadenic. Commiserations, Christopher. Thank you very much, Shawnee, for the uh, co cast. Thank you for having me. It was um, a good game to watch. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Um, it was It was well played by both sides, for sure. And uh, mm -hmm. thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.